Parawave Rapid. This has an amazing granular synthesis engine where you can create amazing drones. So this is the interface. You just go to the first layer and you can click on this little tab over here, which opens up a matter of presets. That is not where we are interested in. You also have granular elements. So if you don't have samples outside, you can use samples which are already prefed, but this is where things get interesting. I downloaded a Chinese instrument, a girl that was playing a Chinese instrument on YouTube. And full disclosure over here, this sample is not made by me and I'm just using it to kind of represent. All you have to do is just go to import, pull in your sample and there you have it. And just click on resynthesis. It already selects the root node. If you know the root node for the sample that you've downloaded, well and good, just type it over here. I really don't know right now, so I'm keeping it at C4. And just click on import. All right, so now I have the sample loaded. So let me put on my buddy over here, the Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro. And if you want to check out a full-blown review on this, the link would be right over here. So go ahead and check that out. Next step is to go to this effects type over here and select granular synthesis. Now you have multiple controls and this would kind of shape up your sound. And right now it sounds like this. Not really interesting, not like a drone. So that's because you need to increase the grain size to have more variations and introduce more greens in the sample. So you're kind of stretching, morphing and kind of ripping the sample apart into small little green. 40, 50 grains would be fine. Uh, not a lot of detune because then it becomes completely out of tune. So somewhere around probably 20, 30%. Let's increase the chaos. Next, what you can do is you can increase the length so that the grains are kind of stretched and those are randomly played. And you can also increase the randomized length as well. This is how it sounds by itself, but it's pretty static. It's not rotating between the sample. So what you can do is you can increase the phase, bring it to the place where you actually kind of are vibing with, increase the randomize so that you have kind of like a range where the grains are playing. Experiment with the morph, increase the grain size a bit. If you increase the detune, this would start happening. You don't want that. You want to stay in tune. And that's a beautiful drone that you have right now. Now you have to do a lot of processing to make it sound the way it should. So now you have the bass ready. What you can do is that you can go to the envelope section, maybe play around with the attack. If you want a slow attack and a slow release. So whenever you pick up your fingers off of the keys, it has a slow droning effect. So I've talked about this a lot of times and also in my Paraweave Rapid review video that the FX section is an amazing uh, section for Paraweave Rapid. So let's load in a compressor. So little ratio, slow tag. Next we can have an equalizer. shelf. I want the low rumble to go away a little. Maybe boost the mids. Reduce the brightness a bit. All right. So next we can have a bit of bit crusher. I always start off with the delay. Let's use a dual delay this time and use maybe a quarter notes and eighth dotted. Okay, it sounds fine. All right, let's put in some modulation. Getting a little bit of gain. And to finish it off, let's have some reverb. 
uh, and I absolutely love, again, I've talked about this a lot of time, either Nova or Space. Both are amazing. Max out the mix. Uh, DK should be a little long. Uh, maybe reduce the modulation if you don't want it. Uh, EQ, the reverb. That's how you create drones using Rapid, an amazing plugin. If you haven't really bought it, go ahead and buy it. You won't be disappointed. I absolutely love messing around with all of the knobs on this plugin and it just does the job within five minutes. All right, so the second plugin that I use to create drones is the Pendulate by Newfangled Audio. Now, this is a new plugin that I discovered uh, just a couple of weeks or maybe months back and I've already done a video uh, on it so you can go ahead and check that out. This is an amazing plugin, a monophonic uh, chaotic wave machine if I may put it that way and it has a bunch of controls that can create good sounding drones and you can experiment with all of these controls to shape up your sound. So you can use the animate, the shape. You put in a dr drive, a little bit of drive, folds, experiment with folds, mix, and then you have the attack as well. So maybe swell that pad in. A bit of release. Right now it's not sounding as good as Paraview Rapid, but we'll make it to sound. So maybe you can experiment with frequency, resonances and poles. And you can also put in some LFO if you want that. But I think I'm fine with this sound. Now it doesn't come with an effects section or dedicated effects section, but you can definitely use third party plugins that you already have. And that just gives you a lot of control. So let's just introduce, for the sake of time, let's introduce just the reverb. Um, I'm using a simple free plugin, Tile Reverb 4. And just increase the size a bit. Reduce the modulation. There you have it. If you want to support this channel and like what I do here, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description box below. And hey, like I said, I bring out weekly content on this channel on music production, tips and tricks, sound design and tutorials. So you can check them out. A bunch of them are right over here. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, cheers.